Australia has a new leader and a new direction with its first female prime minister. As the new iPhone is whisked off the shelves, we look at the fortunes of Apple's third and unknown founder. And it's a nail-biting few hours for New Zealand fans. Do their team stand a fighting chance of making it through to the round of 16? Live from CNN's Hong Kong studios, I'm Anjali Rao. Well, Australia's ruling party has just made a stunning change in leadership. The once widely popular Kevin Rudd is out as Prime Minister and Julia Gillard is in as the nation's first ever female leader. Atia, good to get your thoughts on this. Thanks very much. Atia Abawi there, live in Kabul. Now, hundreds are dead, millions displaced and billions of dollars worth of damage. China's misery worsens as more rain closes in on the region. And later, another mishap has BP scrambling to put a containment cap back on at the site of the Gulf of Mexico oil spill. Welcome back to the CNN studios live from Hong Kong. The Chinese government has evacuated millions of people in several southern provinces where widespread flooding has destroyed homes and lives. Wimbledon? 25 again the high today, not as hot as yesterday. Uh, let's hope they have better luck and they can actually wrap it up. Back to you. Yeah, yeah indeed. God, I've read War and Peace in less time than it's taken that match to finish, honestly. <laughs> Mari, thanks a lot, mate. Sure. See you soon. So then they have already surpassed all expectations. Now New Zealand needs a big win to continue their World Cup fairy tale. We'll have a preview after this. Now, the defending champs are in action today at the World Cup. Italy struggled early in the competition and will need a win to ensure that they advance to the next round. They're playing Slovakia in Johannesburg. In the other Group F match, New Zealand are looking to upset group leader Paraguay. In Group E, Cameroon take on the Netherlands with no chance of advancing. Whoever wins between Denmark and Japan will join the Flying Dutchman in the last 16. Well, this is only New Zealand's second World Cup appearance, and they've already exceeded everyone's expectations. Craig Stanaway is a sports reporter with TVNZ, and he joins me from Polokwane, where the match will be kicking off in about three hours. Craig, they've made it further than anyone thought so far. I mean, what do you make of their success? We'll talk about bad timing. Imagine owning one-tenth of Apple in its early days before the age of MacBooks and iPods and selling it for less than a thousand dollars. We'll introduce you to Apple's forgotten co-founder. And you're looking at live pictures of a beautiful sunrise over New Orleans, but the oil in the water is marring the view. An update on BP's efforts to deal with the Gulf oil spill is straight ahead. Welcome back to World Report. I'm Anjali Rao. What a story. Now, it's been more than five months since Haiti's catastrophe. When we come back, how some groups are helping that country's earthquake victims one step at a time. Cities along Mexico's border with the U.S. depend on tourism for their survival. But right now, drug violence is killing their economies. CNN's Carl Penhall went to one town where merchants can only wonder if business will ever come back. And you can see all of Carl Penhall's report Thursday at the iDesk. 1,800 in London, 1,900 in Central Europe. It's here on CNN. Haiti is still trying to recover from January's catastrophic earthquake. And for one group of survivors, getting help has been an especially uphill battle. In this week's Impact Your World, Rafael Romo reports on two groups making a difference. And to find out how you can help in Haiti, log on to our Impact Your World website at cnn.com slash impact. We'll be back in just a few moments.
Well, it's been a slow start for the world champions at the World Cup. Will Italy solve their problems or be sent packing by the end of the day, we wonder? Here's Kate Giles to tell us. Go on then, Kate. <laughs> well, that is the big, big question, isn't it? I'm not going to go either way, but uh, I can tell you there are four very big games <laughs> coming up today. The first two matches kick off in uh, just over two hours now. And uh, first up are the two Group F matches. That includes Italy, as you mentioned there now. Absolutely. That is some serious endurance. Kate, thank you very much. Now, Australia's Labour Party makes a stunning change in leadership. Kevin Rudd is out as Prime Minister. We'll tell you who's in and why after this.